Okay, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're definitely going to have to know how to do what I'm going to be talking about in this video, and that is to find the equation of a line given certain information, or to find the linear equation given some information or clues about that particular line. So you always want to try to leave your final answers in y equals mx plus b form, but uh, let me be specific about what we're talking about here. So you can see I have a line right here. And I'm told that the slope of this line is 2, and this line passes through the point 1, uh, 3. So this is a very classic type of algebra problem. We're saying, okay, find the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point 1, 3. And you'll want to write your final form uh, of that line in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. Okay, so again, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're going to have to do a lot of this. And there's a couple of different options you have, and I'm going to explain uh, those in this video. But the bottom line is you're going to have to be super good at knowing how to do this. Now, if you already know how to do this, go ahead and pause the video and tell me the equation of this line or this linear equation that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point of 1, 3. You can put that into the comment sections again if you know what you're doing. But if you don't, stick around for a couple minutes. I'm going to explain this thoroughly. All right, but before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I'm telling you right now, there's no such thing as a bad math student. Okay, so if you're failing in math, you're struggling, that you know, that could be your current situation, but it doesn't have to remain that way, okay? So to be successful in math, you, it requires really two things for a student. One, the student has to work hard. So you're going to have to work harder if you're struggling right now, okay? If you're not working that hard and you're getting bad grades, well, then obviously you're going to have to increase your efforts. That's the first thing. The second thing is you need great math instruction, clear and understandable. So that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, Check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a uh, link to it in the description of this video. Um, I really teach everything, all topics and all my courses, super comprehensively. Can definitely help you out. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, uh, GRE, uh, teacher certification exam, things along, uh, along those lines, I have a large volume of test prep courses that can help you out. And if you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school uh, math courses for homeschoolers. You can check that out as well. And if this video helps you out, consider helping me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. But uh, with that being said, let's get into finding the linear equations when we're given information about a particular line. Now, notice I'm saying a linear equation, okay? So something like this, y equals 1 half x minus 3. Okay, this is what we would classify in algebra as a linear equation. Now, just think about it, right? Uh, a linear, uh, let me go and write this out, equation. Now, let's just kind of dive into this word or this phrase, linear equation. Maybe it means the equation of a line, and that's exactly what it means. Okay, so linear equations, we can graph them. And basically, uh, when you uh, are studying this stuff in algebra, you pretty much start off by learning how to graph a line. So you're given the linear equation and you're told graph that line. Okay, so let's say you would just plot that line. Now this uh, line here is not the equation this, but you would graph a particular line based upon uh, the respective linear equation. Now what we're gonna be doing is uh, doing this in reverse. Okay, we're gonna be given information about a line and we wanna determine the linear equation that goes with the line. That's the nature of this uh, problem that we're gonna be doing in this particular video. So what do we need in order to find a linear equation, um, the equation to a line? How do we write the equation to a line or find the equation to a line? Well, you need uh, specifically two pieces of information, okay? You need the slope of that line and at least one point that is on that line, okay? So here I have a point that's on that line and I have the slope to that line. That's the minimum pieces of information you need to find the equation to a line. Now, alternatively, you might have two points that are on a, uh, the line as well, okay? So for example, let's say I had this point right here. I'm just gonna make something up. Uh, let's do, uh, let's make it a little bit easier. How about like this point? Let's say this was, oh, I don't know, negative two, zero, okay? 
So if I told you here is a point and here's another point, one, three, uh, between these two points, I could find the uh, equation to the line because I can also find the slope, okay? If I got two points, remember, uh, to find the slope of this line, okay, I just need uh, these two points, two more points uh, right here. This is enough for me to actually calculate the slope, okay? But the bottom line is you will need the slope, and you'll need at least one point. Now, in this particular problem, you could find the equation of the line if you know the slope and uh, more than, let's say, let's say you had two points. You can use this slope and this point or this slope and this point, either point, uh, as long as you have the slope to the line, will get you to the correct answer. But anyways, this is, again, uh, just kind of the big picture. When you're finding the linear equation, you need the slope and at least one point. And in this particular problem, we're going to find the equation to this line here, the linear equation of a line with a slope of 2 that goes to the point 1, 3. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you this right now. You basically have two options, okay? So uh, there's two formulas that you can use. The first is called the slope-intercept formula. Now, this uh, is a great formula because this is how you want to leave our final answers in slope-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. So you could use this formula and some algebra to find the final um, uh, equation to a line. So this is one option. But what I'm going to suggest to you is a better option is this formula. It's called the point-slope formula. You're going to need to know both, and you're going to need to be able to use both formulas. But in this particular case, this is going to be uh, the better option to use the point-slope formula. So if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to sh uh, show you how it works right now. Okay, so again, we're going to find the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes to the point 1, 3. And we're going to use the point-slope formula and... You can see down here, I have some things kind of circled. So when you're using a point slope formula, the uh, you, things that you're gonna be plugging in values for is going to be this y1, this m, and this x1, okay? So what is that, okay? Well here, this is an x and this is a y point, right? One, three, that's an order pair x, y. So um, our x value is 1, our y value is 3. So this y1 is basically, this is what we're going to plug in our 3. This x1 is we're going to plug in our 1. And then the m is, of course, the slope 2. Okay, so you're going to replace this y1 with the y coordinate, this x1 with the x coordinate of the point that's on the line, and then the m, you're going to replace that with the slope, and then you're going to go ahead and simplify this using some algebra. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so again, uh, recall, let me actually write that down here. Uh, M is equal to 2. Our point is 1, 3. M is equal to 2. And we're talking about the coordinate 1, 3. So you can see the Y here, I'm going to plug in this, okay, 3. My M, I'm going to plug in 2. You can see that's plugged in right there. And then for my X value, I'm going to plug in this 1. All right, so just following the formula, so it's going to be y minus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 1. All right, so once we have that set up correctly, okay, all our values plugged in, all we're going to do is just apply our basic algebra skills to solve for y. Okay, the first thing you want to do is uh, take this 2 and use the distributive property. Okay, so it's going to be 2 times x. That's going to be 2x, and then 2 times 1. That negative 1 is going to be minus 2. So to solve for y, I'm simply going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I'm going to get y is equal to 2x plus 1. This is the, my answer. Okay, this is the linear equation. This is the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes to the point 1, 3. Okay, y equals 2x plus 1. So if you recall y equals mx plus b, our answer is written in uh, this form. m is the slope. So let's look at our final answer. Uh, what's the slope of this line? Well, it's 2. Well, that's what the slope uh, was in our problem. That makes sense. And then b is the y-intercept, and we're saying it's 1. Does that make sense? Well, that's the point right here that this line chops through the y-axis, and that looks like it would um, pass the reality check in terms of our basic graph right here. So this is the linear equation. This is the equation 
uh, of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes to the point 1, 3. Okay, so did you get this right? Uh, if you're able to do this all by yourself, even if you used uh, the slope intercept form, I must go ahead and give you a lovely, a little happy face. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and make that a little extra special and give you a good old 1985 flat top haircut. That was an excellent haircut. I used to sport that thing way back in the day. Uh, I'm also going to give you an A+. Plus. Unfortunately, I don't see this haircut around too much uh, anymore. Maybe I don't get out uh, enough. But that was such a comfortable haircut to uh, to have. And matter of fact, I sported this haircut also when I went into the Marine Corps, where I picked up a little bit of discipline way back in the good old days. It's just very comfortable, especially if you're in any area where there's a lot of heat, like I was at. Anyways, not to uh, get into uh, old 1980s hairstyle, but um, here's the big picture, okay? If you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're gonna have to know how to do two things really, really well. One, graph lines, and two, find the equations of lines. And this comes up to, uh, comes uh, under the bigger category of linear equations, okay? And then of course you have to solve uh, linear equations. There's a lot of stuff you're gonna have to know how to do um, in algebra, but here's the thing. If you're struggling right now, you have to just take a deep breath and get back to the fundamentals and you just take things one step at a time. You're not going to be able to fix all your problems all at once. So you're going to need uh, some great um, instruction to help you out. So a couple uh, recommendations, three things. One, I have additional videos on all these topics in my YouTube channels. I have over a thousand plus videos on my uh, playlist. So that's the first thing you can go uh, if you like my teaching style. The second thing is any one of my algebra courses, pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, I teach all this super thoroughly. So you can uh, check that uh, out by following the link in the description. And also I do have math notes that uh, I'm going to leave links to in uh, the description of this video as well. They're excellent little reference that kind of summarize the things that I talk about as well. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.